first got me excited about making things was first taking things apart. My grandfather let me take apart gasoline-powered lawnmowers and put them back together again. Of course, they first didn't work, but trying over and over, I eventually learned how to do it. But probably the second most profound event was watching the astronauts as a young boy land on the moon. At that moment, I knew there was no limits to mankind. I went to the Citadel Military College and while I got a great engineering education, I always also got an education in leadership. What is, what is this? I hung on a hot water pipe with a sword underneath me. And that challenge is something that you're going to face the rest of your life. And that hot water pipe is something that's going to be a tough project, a tough test, a tough thing that you might design. But the lesson of the sword is that you want to hang on, you want to persevere, because letting go, quitting, is worse than the pain of hanging on. Oh, one class I had at the Citadel that taught me not necessarily how to engineer, but more importantly, it taught me why to engineer, what it's all about. And that an engineer's problem is to solve society's issues. Now, that could be anything from a toy, a Sony PlayStation, the internet, or a life-saving medical device. You know what really inspired me to get into brain imaging? Was I lost my brother to a traumatic brain injury in the mountains of New Hampshire. It hurt, but through that hurt, I got the inspiration to create an invention like this, to be able to bring this life-saving technology, not only to the rural areas of our country, but to the rural areas of our planet. What's great about being a leader, like being a quarterback or a baseball pitcher, which I was, was you're in control. You can take that ship wherever you want to go. You can take it on serious missions, or you can take that ship out for your people for a fun mission. Sounds like good. building a hovercraft out of a leaf blower or a potato cannon, or just basically having fun in any way you can. So it's funny how your life experiences go. So starting from building potato cannons and wanting to get them more accurate, to going into the military, and building guidance systems to make missiles and bombs more accurate, to building those very cameras, the same cameras to look inside your luggage to protect you, to then ultimately applying that camera technology to look inside the human body. You just never know how your life experiences are going to evolve. What moves me the most is really even in the middle of my life, knowing that someday, I'll be able to look back and remember that I actually did something profound for this planet. Instead of just taking, I was able to give. <laughs>